Season 3, Episode 2. I am your streamer, host, Blue One Internet 5, but you may call me Tony Sandy Hyde for this custom universe mode. Sandy Hyde isn't my real last name because it's Sandy the original one of CDW and the new one DJ Hyde. So I'm not going to change many matches, I'm going to sort the god. <coughs> Yeah, I'm gonna turn all the in and the entrances go off because it crashes in the game. Emphasis go off. We haven't seen that much before. If you like what you see, please consider giving my Twitch a follow at twitch.tv. Blue Boy All streams and chats are interactive, so please participate if you can. If you can't, because there's maybe a language barrier, that is also fine. I'm up for suggestions, <coughs> people, for like matching matches you would like to see. I will be doing a random match series at some point. It did it first try, but on some games it doesn't work like the app. Hope everyone's having a good Friday night or Saturday if you live in places like New Zealand, Australia, Japan, India, places like that. <coughs> I'm wearing my custom Vader t-shirt. This t-shirt is awesome. The VOD will be up later on on my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com, Hammers Reviews. <coughs> if you'd like to donate and help me raise funds for a new computer desk, my Patreon is patreon.com, Hammers Reviews. If you don't have a Patreon, I have a donation button on my Twitch channel. If you'd like to follow my fan pages, they are facebook.com, Hammers Reviews, facebook.com, Hammers Reviews Stream, and facebook.com, Hammers Reviews Streams. If you'd like to talk to me personally or something you need to get something off your mind, my Twitters and Instagram are always open. My Instagram is Instagram at HammondReviews1. My Twitter, my Twitters are Twitter at Blueboy85, that's my main one. But I have a new one which is for collaborations, inquiries. Gaming suggestions. That is Twitch at Blue Boy Nineteen Eighty Five One. We've seen this match before, so I just changed it. I'm just going to swap some of the matches. It's got to be a full set in a worst match. <coughs> Adam Cole. Going up against Anne Hesco. Gotta got turn that down only slightly. Change this match up. It's gonna be an extreme no sorry. It will also be that will be an extreme rules match. We have Alex Cologne. Going up against the Blade, better known as Pepper Box. Well, Brett and Sato, if you watch Impact Wrestling. <coughs> yeah. Uh, 
that is this one. <coughs> We have a match play draw match. It could be where, where they already Lucky Fountain. The Pentico, the Boon, the Necro Butcher, the Weed God. <coughs> so, what I'm trying to do is change which days people are on. So, to check it, I've got for some more lighting situation. Television champion. I'm gonna cut it down to six matches, here, so delete that. Delete that, sir. And also delete that, sir. We're having a six match card. So we'll turn the momentum for <coughs> the co-main event and main event down. The energy drink today is G Fuel. Got raging gummy fish flavour. It's like the gummy fish you get that are called fish from America. I know it's in a sneak, sneak shaker because all my G Fuel shakers are in the wash. <coughs> We've got such a big roster. <coughs> We're ready to start. I'll run down the card. We have Trent Acid going up against Johnny Gargano. We have Scotty Vortex going up against Jordan Oliver. We have Trey Younger going up against Jimmy Havoc. We have, in a full count anyways match, Adam Cole going up against Anne Helico of AAA, Lucha Underground fame, and currently signed to AEW with his pregnant mother, Jack Evans. <coughs> the co-main event is an Extreme Rules match, Alex Colon going up against The Blade. And our main event of the evening is a backstage ball, Lucky 13 going up against Sir Pentacle. Let's go! What does everyone think of the Vader shirt? I got from Pro Wrestling, like the Pro Wrestling, like the Wrestle Crates had this Vader shirt and Vader shirt's fantastic. I've got tons of custom shirts. Some things might be very embarrassing as a wrestling fan of over 30 years. Heading from Peraria, Illinois. <coughs> On to our first match. Hayden from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the late great Trent Hassett, who no longer is here anymore, he passed away 10 years ago. And his opponent from Cleveland, Ohio. 
I remember Johnny Gargano from Pro Wrestling Ohio, which is AIW, Absolute Intent Wrestling, that's what it's called now, nowadays. I remember watching him in, I think it was like 2005, and his manager, Hayden from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, by way of Cleveland, Ohio, Candice LeRae. Cleveland found a rubbish. <coughs> The stipulation is, if anyone can pin Trent Acid, who is a CZW world champion, they will be in line for a championship opportunity. Because the winner of the Tournament of Death, which was bad math, he can, could cash in, but I'm not doing that until a few weeks down the line, because we, we, we do eight weeks of shows, then we do the main show, which is like... <clears throat> but I may do it differently when it comes to the fourth week, which is, it is two weeks' time. We will have a special pay per view on the game. But if anyone has any suggestions and knows about the CZW, please let me know in the chat section below. <coughs> The referee wants a good clean fight. Nice hard over from Johnny Gargano. Followed by the nice shit down Michinoku driver slam. You know, slap, slap back, followed by a kick to the lumbar, which is a smaller portion of the back. Wasn't even enough for one, Mr. Gargano. What were you thinking? Nice swing neck breaker. Ralphie McCruz would have been very pleased of that. Nice column now for about time. Nice side headlock from Johnny Gargano. Nice solid. Um, never know what that bloody movie's called. Nice. Um, Nice wrist lock, nice punches to the bread basket, which is a mid -head. Nice step up into Geary from Trent Ashley. If Trent Ashley would have kept his demons in check, he still would have been alive today. But I think some some of the circumstances don't don't add up to me. Nice <coughs> leapfrog, another leapfrog from Mr. Wrestling, followed by a nice spinning uppercut from Johnny Gargano. Nice roaring elbow from Johnny Gargano 1. Only enough for a one count on that exchange. <coughs> it will be a Knight of Champions concept. We've only had two champions, unfortunately, because I cannot find a junior heavyweight belt anywhere. This is an all round because there's no new game 2k22 is the next game in the series because 21 got scrapped nice no, snap man suplex so nice no, snap suplex from Trent Acid very reminiscent of Tom Billington the dynamite kid great wrestler but not always a great human being nice no, belly to belly suplex from Trent Acid Trent Acid kicking away at the arms of Johnny Wrestling goes for the pin one <coughs> nice judo throw from Johnny Gargano nice trapped arm single leg Boston grab from the Cleveland Ohio native My American football team is Raiders, but the Barclays are moved to fucking Vegas, the pricks. Nice no snap suplex from Trent Acid. Nice no snap DDT from Trent Acid. Some people may know him from JCW as Holy Trent Acid. Acid goes for the bin. One, two, only enough for a two from the champion. I'm a very, I was a very, I don't trust Johnny Cash, me. something about 
Mr. TA's getting arrested. Doesn't sit well with me. Nice. Sit down. Mitch and Oakley drive a slam. One, two, three. And draw winner, the CZW world champion, Trent Acid. <coughs> he was multiple time Big Japan junior heavyweight champion and multiple time CZW junior heavyweight champion, but he was never the big champion. I think he was Iron Man champion as well as <coughs> on to our next match. Hayden from Indianapolis, Indiana, one of the members of the Naptown Dragon Ball, Drake Younger, Scotty Vortex, and his opponent from New York. Jordan Oliver. I have seen him in some CZW, but I know him from Major League Wrestling and Game Changer Wrestling that I have I've seen and Beyond Wrestling as well. Jordan Oliver's got a ton of potential. I don't think Scotty Vortex wrestles anymore. Tomorrow is a retro <coughs> day because we're going to be playing Goldeneye 007 for the N64 and we're going to be doing FIFA 21 finishing with it's going to be part 11 West Ham United career mode season 1 finale so it's been building up I think the children have got a ton of potential when MLW do with with him that's going to be good now it's colouring about our app Jordan Oliver puts um, Scotty Vortex into the corner. A nice clean break. Jordan Oliver with the kick. Nice pump handle driver from the young Jordan Oliver. He's awfully good. I think he only works as a hill wrestler. Nice stunner from Jordan Oliver in his orange prison sweatpants nice kicks to the midsection from Jordan Oliver <coughs> nice running flatliner from Jordan Oliver I hope they've got plans for him on Martin Reed he's in injustice with Martin Reed here's fan another great wrestler he is one of the champions in the MLW. Nice uppercut from Jordan Oliver, followed by the nice high knee from Jordan Oliver to <coughs> knock Scotty Vortex down. Nice discus area from Jordan Oliver. Jordan Oliver with the reverse body slam into a blue thunder bomb or doctor bomb, whichever. I don't know all the moves, unfortunately. Nice snap match suplex from Scotty Vortex, followed by a nice drop kick to follow up. Nice lariat from Scotty Vortex. Nice hard Irish whip from Jordan Oliver. Jordan Oliver is going to run the ropes into a jump in arm drag. I know some of the wrestling moves, I don't know all the new wrestling moves. Nice super kick from Scotty Vortex. Scotty Vortex's finisher is the C4 from the top rope or the Spanish fly to some people. Jordan Oliver with the punch to get out. No, Snake Eye Vomit, Jordan Oliver. I think he's from Newberry Heights in New York. I don't know if that's a real place. Nice. No, sit down. Sunset Flip Power Bomb. <coughs> I think Jordan Oliver, he's going to be a legend one of these days. Nice high knee from Jordan Oliver. But he's showboating to the crowd a little bit too much. Mm. 
Now, six one nine saw maneuver from Jordan Oliver. Nice. Styles clash. But he doesn't go for the pin straight away. Nice. Inverted DDT from Jordan Oliver. That doesn't go for the pin attempt. Nice super kick from Jordan Oliver. Attacking the arms of Scotty Vortex. A nice reverse power bomb. Into the Blue Thunder Doctor Bomb. Jordan Oliver throws Scotty Vortex into. He's going for the reverse body slam. Blue Thunder Bomb again. But doesn't go for the pin. If it's me, I'd just capitalize on it and whoop his ass. Nice hard Irish whip from Jordan Oliver. Nice rolling German suplex with a lovely bridge. One, two, three, and your winner, Jordan Oliver. With a fantastic outing on this game. Nice show of sportsmanship. Maybe this is a potential rivalry. <coughs> Hayden from Indianapolis, Indiana. The psycho shooter or the golden boy, Drake Younger, who is now a referee on NXT, heading from Camden Town, London, Jimmy Effin Havoc, who name has been brought up for emotional abuse. Emotional abuse is bad. <coughs> it's not like he's actually assaulted anyone bad, but still is bad. So hopefully he gets all the help he needs. I'm going for a Trenta, no sorry, a uh, Drake Younger. Win on this one. Referee wants a good clean fight. No, it's half and half. Suplex from Drake Younger. Drake Younger is a former CZW champion, Iron Man champion, and I think he has you on the tournament of death as well. I've got to remember from memory what he's won. Nice running Liger Bomb from Drake Younger. The drug culture in CZW is bad. <coughs> Nice sit down Michinoku driver from Drake Younger. And he has won CGW best of the best as well. Nice high angle fisherman's buster from the psycho shooter Drake Younger. Nice arm ringer from Jimmy Havoc. You know, Jimmy Havoc probably said these things when he was drunk, you know. Being drunk and bad, bad, past people's emotions and shit, so. But why bring this shit up now for some of these people? They mentioned it six years later on. Sorry, that doesn't work for me. Say, Tonga, only with a. Sorry. Jimmy Havoc, only with a one count. <coughs> We've lost some, so many fucking wrestling this year, it's unbelievable. But people that have been sexually assaulted, <coughs> all he's been in getting in trouble for is hurting himself and emotional abuse. <coughs> nice springboard, double foot stomp from Jimmy Havoc. 
Shri Junga gets in a hole, the body slam. Shri Junga with the running! Power slam, very, made very famous by David Boy Smith, back to known as the British Bulldog. Still one of my favourite British wrestlers. Along with Volleyball, Mark Rocco, nice. Arm um, modified arm ring up our farm, the Psycho Shooter. I have been watching a lot of ICW New York No Holds Barred events. I'm on event six, so I've got um, I think I've only got a few events left to watch. Nice chop block from Jimmy Havoc goes for the pin. One. Only enough for a one count on that exchange. <coughs> I've been a wrestling fan since nineteen eighty eight, so 20 plus years. Mm. Nice armbar form. Drink younger onto <coughs> Jimmy Harrop and to Drake Younger. Nice hard over to the ropes, followed by the discus forearm. There we go. This game isn't perfect. Drake Younger with the choking. <coughs> Most of this is still bad, but... <coughs> Go to the one. Only enough for a one count on that stage. Welcome to anyone that has just joined the stream. Hope you are doing well wherever you are. <coughs> no sleep hold. The old guard thought if you applied the sleep hold too much, you cut the crotch to off. That is a correct statement that would actually happen. Nice chin breaker from Drake Younger, followed by a nice German suplex from Drake Younger. <coughs> Drake Younger with that death valley driver. Go for the pin. One, two, three, and your winner, the psycho shooter, Drake Younger. I think every season I will be doing a draft of some kind. We lost Danny Havoc this year, and a few other wrestlers. Okay, let's see what the next matches are, <coughs> so I can refresh my memory. Oh. Our next match is a false count anywhere's match. Adam Cole going up against and Helico. Hayden from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, by way of Florida. Adam Cole. And his opponent from Johannesburg, South Africa, by way of Mexico City, Mexico, one half of the Hybrid 2 and Helico. I met Adam Cole in 2009 when he was a lot younger. I'm going for an Adam Cole victory on this. Who's everyone else pulling for? This is all just for fun. Lutron the weather was fantastic for what it was. Referee wants a good clean fight. Nice sick kick from Adam Cole. He actually has been in CDW a long time ago. Go to the pin. One. Only not for one count on the exchange. My swinging neck breaker from Adam Cole. Adam Cole with the stiff shot. Nice shot. Nice inverted DDT slam, knocking the referee down in the process. The referee seems a bit giddy. Adam Cole with the super kick.
Nei, snakk meg sykleks. For å enn på første kapel og nye til lamba på midtis. Men han er kjøp ved å få en god hjelp til oss. Nei, kappaste for meg en hele kapel. Det var ikke noe nok for en vang her på en exchange. And then I go kicking away at Adam Cole, step and followed by a snap, snap breaker. Nice knee lift from a helicopter, followed by nice drops, another knee lift. Followed by the gut buster from an helicopter, who he's actually trained by PJ Black driver. Nice running bulldog headlock from an Helico 1. Only enough for one and a half. Nice swinging that breaker from an Helico. <coughs> I know both wrestlers. But it doesn't seem like you do much with one hell of Nice roll up from Adam Cole. Two, only enough for a two count on that exchange. Nice. Fireman's carry from Adam Cole. Nice step up in Sagiri. From Adam Cole, baby. False count anywhere matches. Oh, no disqualification. And Helico goes for the pin. One. Only enough for a one. That could have been at least a two. If the bumper didn't boob of a referee knew what he's barking down doing. What a wanker. And Helico has been thrown into the barricade from by Adam Cole. And Helico has been thrown about. No swinging, rolling, DDT from Adam Cole. Adam Cole has got the advantage. Adam Cole throws an helico into the barrier. And Adam Cole's got this in the bag. Nice hold Irish whip to the ropes from Adam Cole. Nice low super kick. Followed by the destroyer from Adam Cole. Go for the pin. One, two, three. And your winner, Adam Cole, with the second rope, Canadian destroyer. Oh, baby! It seems like the referee's having a bloody seizure. Oh, oh, excuse me. <coughs> this match is... In the Extreme Rules match, Hayden from New Jersey, Alex Cologne, and his opponent, Hayden from Buffalo, New York, the former Pepper Park, Jackson Sutter, currently going by The Blade in the tag team, The Butcher and the Blade from AEW. Andy Williams is from the post hardcore band Every Time I Die.
the referee won't say it. Good. Right, this is, I believe, the co-main event of the evening. Nice uppercut from Pepper Box. So, sorry, the blade. Nice. Head scissors followed by the elbow strikes. Nice, <coughs> nice. Vertical suplex. One. Only no four and one count from the blade. Alex Colon does wrestle still. Nice sit down. Chin breaker from <coughs> Alex Colon. Go for the pin. One. Only no four and one count. I hope some weaponry gets introduced. No stiff shots. <coughs> Alex Colon used to be CDW, so did Pepper Box. He teamed up with Black Jean Sabian. <coughs> I think they were called TV Ready. They were tag team champions. Nice high angle, belly to belly suplex from Alex Colon. <coughs> Alex Colon is supposed to get some weaponry out. He grabs a steel chair. CTW is 21 years old. Nice spin kick to Butcher. Sorry. Sorry, the blade with a nice OVD style chair kick. <coughs> nice arm deck from the Butcher. Sorry, the blade. I'm getting bloody confused now. Nice chop from the blade. The blade has the chair. Nice snap suplex onto the chair from Alex Cologne. He is no relation to Carlito Primo or Epicard or Carlos Cologne. Nice kicks from. Alex Stallone, nice kick to the midsection. Another kick, knock in. The blade down one. Only enough for a one count on that attempt. Nice sit down, chin breaker from Alex Stallone. Alex Stallone wedging the chair into the turnbuckle. Now sit down, chin breaker from Alex Cologne. The blade goes into the chair, <coughs> completely set up. Alex Cologne, I reckon, has this in the bag. I didn't think he'd be doing hardcore matches these days. Goes for the pin. One. Only enough for a one count on that exchange. <coughs> nice roll in. Fast and grab from Alex Kellogg. The blade with the leg up to a kick, kick away at the fellow. Nice rolling elbow from the blade. Nice snap DDT from the blade. Goes for the pin. One, two, only enough for a two count on exchange. <coughs> Nice slew fed press followed by mounted punches. Mm. 
nice hold. Put to the work followed by a nice high angle <coughs> hip thrust. Hello, Mr. Jeeves. How are you, buddy? It's been a while. I was, I was wondering if you was going to come and see us today. So how are you, Skipper? And it's along with our pile driver onto the outside. <coughs> go, go, go. Nice, modified. Backbreaker from Alex Galone. Alex Galone's getting thrown into the ring. Ah, cool. So how's work? Yep, I knew what you meant, so <coughs> you didn't have to explain. And it's alone with the package pole driver on the blade. Goes for the pin. One, two, three, and your winner, Alex Kerno. <coughs> This is also my second stream of the day. <clears throat> this could potentially be a feud at some point. No, yes. I have found some insight. Once you get to eventual level 16, <clears throat> you can get to do like multiplayer. Ooh, shiny. <coughs> and the main event of the evening is a backstage ball match. Lucky first team, gun pink. Third panties of Bioshock. I didn't like that one, I preferred one and two. Hailing from New Jersey. The CCW Wired. Champion, Lucky 13, going up against Mexico's Serpentico in a backstage ball main event. I preferred 1 and 2. Infinite was good, but there were things that didn't make a lot of sense to me. <coughs> mm, yeah, because you've got to think that the time zone. The time it actually was, there were a lot of racist people back when. It's not done it properly, god fucking damn. Nice backbreaker from Sir Pentacle. <coughs> So Pentacle with reversal neck break. Yeah, exactly. Back when it was very racist. <coughs> Some parts of America still are. You must stiff shot from. Is it me, 92 Pothead 80, or 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 AW getting very predictable? So Pentacle. With the second rope, double sledge attack, attack, the foot of Lucky 13. We shall, we shall see. <coughs> I think they should relieve the Young Bucks, Cody, Kenny Omega, Anyone with power shouldn't have championships. Mm, it might, might be a few years. So Pentagon will. The Snapmare. 
followed by the elbow shots to the trapezius, which is the shoulder up here. So thank you God with the drop faster. Nice springboard DDT from Lucky 13. Nice snap there. Yep, I think they're very underused. And Helico and Jack Evans. Domino for some people. Welcome to the stream. <coughs> I hope everyone's doing well wherever they are in the world. <coughs> so Pentacle with the flapjack. I don't currently, but currently I'm playing on PS4. Nice side headlock takedown from Lucky 13. Nice standing shooting shot press from Lucky 13 onto Serpentacle. Nice chop from Serpentacle. Nice snap DDT from Serpentacle. If he hits this, it may be over. Nice reversal from Lucky 13. Nice sunset flip power bomb. Nice hold on whip from Lucky 13. Onto Sir Pentacle. Nice rope assisted. Drop kick from Lucky 13. Nice. Backpack stunner from Lucky 13. Nice. Shooting star press from Lucky 13. Nice. Snap suplex. Yeah, I've heard of that because we're in tier 2 at the minute, where I am, 92 posted 80. Lucky 13, it's like a shark that smells blood. Yeah, I heard, I heard that as well. In messages. Bloody hell. It seems people aren't taking it very seriously. <coughs> so, Pantico. Nice arm there. Lucky 13 is staged and confused. So Pentacle gets thrown into the ring post. Bloody hell, that is a lot. Nice knee from Sir Pentacle onto Lucky 13. <coughs> The Pentacle with a sit down Michi Noku driver. <laughs> nice. S 
snap you back. Let's elbow smash. <coughs> From Sir Pantico. Goes for the double stage, but unfortunately misses. Nice drop kick from Lucky 13, a CZW television champion. Nice corkscrew moonsault from Lucky 13. Nice sit down, sunset flip, power bomb to finish the matchup. Let's see who our challenges are. That was a very good match. We're going to exit. Before we do this, we're going to, I'm going to see what the standings are. and uh, Matt Riddle's number one contender. Dan Mack has an automatic title opportunity. Jake Young has gone up by one. Lindsay Dorado is number one contender to the world title. I'm going to do that as a three-way match. So a four-way match next week. This is Geraldo, Johnny Gavon, Joe Janela, and Jordan Oliver. Yeah, exactly. Thank you all for watching. I have been your host, Blue Boy Nineteen Eighty Five. Thank you for coming along, and I'll be back next Friday with. More CZW Universe Mode. Look after yourselves. Look after each other. Look after your relatives, elder relatives, or any animals you may have them free. Wear a face mask if you can. If you can't, use the medical reason, that's fine. And I bid you a farewell, and I'll be back tomorrow for more streaming content goodness. And everyone, please have a good rest of your day or night, wherever you are. And peace out.